Hello everyone, so as it's very common to do on YouTube, I wanted to introduce you to my Mercedes brothers. So you probably noticed that it's not a Mercedes Brabus because actually it's a Citroën Berlingo 1.6 HDI, nothing special. I didn't call my car Mercedes Brabus because I know in the van life on YouTube it's very trendy to give a name to its own car and I never did it for all my car in the past. I identify my car as a Mercedes Brabus which is much better and it's very trendy. So now we can just do a tour of my car. This car is quite special because actually it's a Dangel or Dangel, it depends how you pronounce it. But Dangel is a French specialist automobile company and they produce some 4x4 version of some common cars and this one is one of them. So they take it and they change the whole transmission system. So this car is most of the time a two-wheel drive but when I go off-road I can put it 4x4, I will show you later. And the suspension are a little bit higher so it's quite efficient, I'm quite happy with this car. Just the problem is the parts are quite expensive. So yes, maybe you saw that there is some red painting. There's a reason for this. It's because I paint the car with the plastic dip, so it's kind of liquid. And once you spray it on the car, it just becomes like hard. And whenever you want, you can take it out if you need, or if you want to change the color. You can see sometimes it's not perfect, but what's most important is I paid 100 euro for this painting, and it lasts for one year. So I'm pretty happy with this one. As I said before, this car is a four-wheel drive, but you can change it two-wheel drive. That means, for example, this is the command to change it. And here it's in two-wheel drive, and when I need it, I can put in four-wheel drive. I just turn it, and it goes automatically in four-wheel drive. It won't go across the river, it won't go in the full sand, but it helps much better. I can go much further than any normal car. So that's really a big advantage for this car, actually. That's exactly what I need. So now I'm gonna show you for the pure tour of the car. So here's my van conversion, which is rather simple and budget friendly. And maybe it doesn't look like, but it's super comfortable. So for the isolation, we insulated everything with Armaflex, which ended up being the most expensive part. So that in general, this car has been made as cheap as possible. That means most of the wood has been taken from the trash bin. So we reuse pretty much everything. So that's why sometimes it's not perfect, but it was super cheap to make this conversion. So in this space, you can see a 25 liter container that I fill with either vodka or water as needed. And here I only store gas bottle for the gas cooker, just for saving space. And over here we have the shower, although a vodka shower is on grid, I can also use it just for cleaning dishes because there is a sink here, but you will see later. This cable is from the solar panel, currently not connected, but it plugs into this battery. It's just a small 290 watt model. It's more than sufficient for this space. And as you can see, I can also use this multi-directional fan. 
for privacy i've made these curtains although i've only put up half of them now but they cover the whole driving space so that's more than enough they don't completely block out the light but once again it's sufficient this small mirror is permanent yet removable and very useful for dealing with pimples to eat or work we have this extra little table and this one can be hidden if needed And to cook, I use this simple and quite efficient gas cooker. So now let's take a look at the storage. Unfortunately, it's always full, both up here or down below. On the side, we have the water container. Here, we have a small sink with direct drainage outside. Don't get too worked up in the comment. I've been traveling and living in a converted vehicle for 15 years. I know which product to use. For evenings, I have this light surrounding me, which is very nice. This plug is for the fan and this one creates a cozy ambience. As for the storage, I have a large space under the bed. It's sufficient for one person, but a little bit tight for two. Still, yet it works. And finally, let me show you how I make the bed. It's quite quick and easy to do without having to leave the vehicle. So if it's raining, that's nice. The bed is spacious for one person, but maybe a little bit small for two. Oh, and this is the cushion for my dog, who sleeps in front. To cover the window at the back, I've taken a rather rustic approach. We simply cut the armaflex and place it directly when needed. So it's not pretty, but it's still, it's efficient. So that's the van version, and it looks something like this when you're sitting inside, just working on the computer or shaving your bed or whatever. And the car has two doors on each side, so I can open both, but generally I just open this one. On this side here, there is the solar panel. I didn't put it now but I will put it later when I'm gonna go. In the meantime I hope this van tour has been interesting for you and given you some ideas. If you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe it's very important for referencing my video on YouTube and if you want to follow my adventure in Northern Europe searching for artisanal bakeries I hope you subscribe and see you next week. <laughs>